Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. We are back. After three months, Samsung is probably going to reveal the Galaxy S25 series, although most of the characteristics of those next handsets have already surfaced. Although there was some ambiguity about the processor, it is reasonable to presume that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chip will be used in the Galaxy Ace 25 Ultra that is headed for the US. This Snapdragon chip can outperform the most recent 18 Pro chip from Apple, which is found in the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Recently, the US-bound Galaxy S25 Ultra with the model name SMS938, you carry a lock variant was detected in Geekbench's database. The phone uses the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 CPU and 12 GB RAM. Given that the phone is slated to be released in the first part of next year, it looks that the Galaxy S25 Ultra is running Android 15. In the single-core CPU performance test on Geekbench 6, the gadget received 3,069 points, while in the multi-core CPU performance test, it received 9,080 points. While its multi-core performance is 18% better, its single-core performance is comparable to the 18 Pro CPU found in the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Comparatively, the Galaxy S24 Ultra received about 2,300 points from Geekbench for single-core CPU performance and about 7,000 points for multi-core CPU performance. The phone already surpassed the iPhone 16 Pro Max in 3D Mark's Wildlife Extreme GPU performance test by a fair margin. It is reasonable to believe that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 will simply widen that advantage. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is still in the development and optimization stages so by the time it is released onto the market, its performance should have improved. Thus at that point the gadget will be able to surpass the iPhone 16 Pro Max in terms of both CPU and GPU performance. The Galaxy S25 Ultra will have a redesigned appearance with softened edges. It is anticipated to feature four cameras, a 10MP telephoto, a 50MP super telephoto, a 50MP ultrawide and a 200MP primary back camera. It has the same 12MP selfie camera as the Galaxy Galaxy Ace 24 Ultra, according to some report. The phone has a 5000 mAh battery that can be charged quickly with 45 watt charging power. A previous rumor stated that Samsung's Galaxy S24 F last week we heard that it would launch this week. The phone continues to leak in the meanwhile, as it has been doing for a while. Renowned leaker Evan Blass has leaked an official unboxing video on Exeter tests to the Spartan box and its black cardboard composition. Hopefully by now you weren't anticipating a charger but you're not receiving one. The colors blue, graphite, gray, mint and yellow will be available for this 24 FE. Additionally, the most powerful camera ever in the Galaxy FE series with stunning low-light portraits is promised in the trailer. A 50MP primary camera, a 12MP ultrawide, an 8MP 3X optical zoom telephoto, and a 10MP selfie camera comprise the camera system. Samsung's proprietary Exynos 2400E chipset, which is essentially an underclocked Exynos 2400, will be in charge, with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on top and a peak brightness of 1900 nits. The 6.7-inch display has a 4 1700 milliampere battery. The gadget will utilize Galaxy AI and has an IP68 rating for dust and water resistance. Another source claims that the price in the US for 128 GB of storage will be 649 US dollars. You will have to shell out 709 dollars for the 256 GB model. When compared to the debut price of the Galaxy S23 FE last year, this pricing implies a $50 increase. That said, I'll be ending the discussion for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.